हेलो वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इंट्रोडक्शन टू वी एम ए वी सेंटर सर्वर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ लुक एट वॉट इज वी सेंटर सर्वर टाइप्स ऑफ वी सेंटर सर्वर फीचर्स ऑफ वी सेंटर सर्वर प्लान्स डेटा बेस रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर वी सेंटर सर्वर कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ वी सेंटर सर्वर डिफरेंट सर्विसेज ऑफ पी एस सी एंड वी सेंटर सर्वर एंड वी सेंटर सर्वर डिप्लॉयमेंट टॉपोलॉजी वट इज वी सेंटर सर्वर वी सेंटर सर्वर इज अ मैनेजमेंट कंसोल विच सेंट्रलाइज कंट्रोल एंड मैनेज द कंप्लीट वर्चुअल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इट हैज कंट्रोल ऑफ यूर कंप्लीट वर्चुअल मशीन ई एस एक्स आई होस्ट डेटा स्टोर्स वर्चुअल नेटवर्क टैंपलेट्स क्लोन स्नैपशॉट्स अलार्म्स एंड इवेंट्स along with managing those components it also provides better health check and quick provisioning suppose you had to build a server in a physical environment you had to buy a physical server insert a cd then install operating system then applications and that process was very longer but same in a virtual environment it has quick provisioning options it just do a few clicks and your virtual machine and a virtual servers is ready it also integrates with other vmware vspare products like we have vmware srm nsx vrealize products and so on so whatever products we have in vmware vcenter helps in integrating those products in a single console apart from vmware products it also integrates third party plugins such as emc storage and other plugins vcenter types now we have two types of vcenter server one is windows based virtual center and another is appliance based virtual center windows based virtual center can be a physical machine or a virtual machine but appliance based virtual center can only be a virtual machine now we'll talk about the difference what differences we have between the windows based virtual center and appliance based virtual center in earlier version we had few differences between windows based and appliance based so that's why organizations were preferring to go on a windows based virtual center but starting from 6.5 we do not have such kind of differences in a appliance based virtual center also we have same kind of host configuration same kind of virtual machine it supports in appliance based same kind of host per cluster virtual machine per cluster it supports 8000 in both the database which supports in windows based that is oracle or sql but in a appliance based it has integrated postgres sql database and it also supports enhanced linked mode so we do not have any difference if we are using appliance based v center or a windows based v center features of v center server on windows operating system it runs on top of windows operating system you have to install operating system then you can install vcenter server on top of that and it required operating system licenses additionally and it has separate vmware update manager and a database and there is no high availability for the vcenter server in windows based vcenter server but if you are using appliance based virtual center it is a pre packaged and pre installed photon linux based virtual machine and it also reduces the operating system license cost like earlier in a earlier version like in a windows based virtual center you were using a operating system which was taking cost additionally from the vcenter server license cost but it is not the case in appliance based vcenter server it doesn't it has integrated operating system which is photon based it has integrated vmware update manager 
it has integrated database and it provides the same feature which was in a windows based vCenter server and it also has native backup and restore you can take the backup and restore of vCenter server from the vCenter console itself and it has vCenter high availability which is known as VCHA it means if your vCenter goes down you have another vCenter available at the same time and on top of that we have high security and performance now database requirement for vCenter server vCenter on Windows server has internal database or you can also use external database internal database has PostgreSQL database which has 20 host and 200 virtual machine it supports but if you are using external database you can have Microsoft SQL database or Oracle database and in the same situation if you have vCenter on an appliance based if you are using an internal database and you have PostgreSQL which supports 1000 host and 10,000 virtual machines and if you are using external database that supports Oracle database. Components of vCenter server. We have two components of vCenter server. One is PSC that is known as platform service controller and second one is vCenter server. PSC controls all the security related features whereas vCenter server controls the management features. We'll look into this that what all services PSC supports and what all services vCenter service supports. So PSC supports single sign-on, VMA license services, certificate manager and these three services as a core service. And other services we'll talk about it has VMware Appliance Management Service, VMware Component Manager, VMware Identity Management Service, VMware HTTP Reverse Proxy, VMware Service Control Agent, VMware Security Token Service, VMware Common Login Service, VMware Syslog Health Service, VMware Authentication Framework, and VMware Directory Service. If we'll talk about vCenter Server Services, it has lifecycle manager service and in that we have vCenter server, vSphere web client, vSphere auto deploy, vSphere ESXi dump collector, VMware vSphere syslog collector, VMware vSphere update manager, PostgreSQL and vSphere client. So these services we have in vCenter server and PSC. Now we are looking into the deployment topology what we have so we have six type of topology that we are using during the deployment one is vCenter server with embedded PSC in that we can have vCenter server and PSC on the same server another feature we have vCenter server with external PSC in that case we have vCenter server on another server and PSC on another and third one is PSC in replicated configuration. In that scenario, we have one vCenter server and two PSC. Now we have PSC in HA configuration. In that case, we have one or more vCenter server with external PSC controllers. Next option we have vCenter server deployment across site. So we have two or more external platform service controller and one or more vCenter server with the external platform service controllers. And the last one option we have vCenter server deployment across sites with load balancer. In this situation we have two or more external PSC controllers and one or more vCenter server with external PSC controllers. So that's all about the deployment topology. Now we have installation of vCenter server. So we can have vCenter server as an appliance based or on a Windows server. On top of vCenter server we have PSC. So we need to install PSC first and then we'll have vCenter server. If you are using 
Windows based vSet the server, you have to install a Windows operating system and on top of that you have to install vCenter server. But if you are using appliance based vCenter server, then you will have to install a ESXi host and then execute the vCenter server from a server and you will have to give the path of that particular ESXi host where this virtual machine will be created. So in next video, we are going to see how we can install a vCenter server. So stay tuned. Thank you.